They're the people we rely on when we are in greatest need, and daily they witness events most of us would find extremely distressing. It's always been a demanding job, but Five News has new evidence of the damage that working for the ambulance service is now causing many of its dedicated staff. This is my basic kit. Stuart Gray has been a paramedic for 20 years. The job used to allow him time to process what he experienced, not anymore. We are being hammered uh, most of the week now, especially at the weekends. We don't get a chance to de-stress anymore. It's 12 hours, go home, come back, 12 hours, go home, relentless now. Using the Freedom of Information Act, we've obtained figures for stress-related sickness. For frontline ambulance workers, the number of days off has soared by 40% between 2013 and 2014. For all Ambulance Trust staff, there was a 28% rise in days off. And it's not more time being taken by the same individuals because the number of staff affected by stress has also increased by 28% in a single year. The body which represents those who employ ambulance staff says tackling their stress depends on tackling demand right across the health service. If we can do things that help the way in which district nursing or primary care uh, works better, that will help the demand on ambulance crews. If we help colleagues in social care, that will help demand on ambulance crews. So, um, you know, it, it is about a whole range of genuinely ambitious things that we've got to do. But with many ambulance trusts struggling to recruit, the fear is a crisis will arrive before the solution does. If we don't get the level of investment needed to get these paramedics out into practice to meet this demand, those who are currently out at work and trying to treat patients are just simply going to burn out and they're just going to leave the ambulance services, leaving no one to respond to the patients who are in desperate need of health care. The potential effect on patients also worries Stuart. Stress can lead to mistakes being made. We want to be able to get it right, but when you're stressed, you can't think straight. So I think there's a danger in the future of that beginning to happen. Hello. Ambulance crews are the first on the scene to support the public without damaging their own health. Catherine Jones, Five News.